From a secret trick that skips the searching for opponent screen in multiplayer battles to the buildings in your base automatically getting upgraded, here are 33 jaw-dropping facts about Clash of Clans that you probably didn't know. And for number one, have you ever wondered what it's like to be in the middle of a Clash of Clans base while it's being attacked? Wonder no more, because back in 2015, Supercell showed us exactly how an attack would look inside with this awesome 360 degree commercial in the POV of the archers where you can literally take a look at the entire base. You can also see all the different troops in action, making this commercial a player's best dream. Ah! Ever noticed anything strange about the coil on a level 7 laboratory in Clash of Clans? Well, maybe because it's the exact one used on a level 7 Mega Tesla. And get this, Sparky from Clash Royale has an identical coil on her front. What's going on here? Is the laboratory secretly a defensive building, or is Sparky actually a laboratory on wheels? My childhood is a lie. So I always thought that Clash of Clans replays were just a recording of the match shown in the replay, but apparently it's not like that at all, because it turns out that replays are actually real-time simulations of the battle. What? The game records when and where a player taps on their screen and uses that information to play out the attack. Now that I think about it, it actually makes way more sense than recording a three minute attack. Okay, we all know and love the baby dragon in Clash of Clans, but hold on a minute, something doesn't seem right. When you train a baby dragon in the barracks using elixir, everything seems normal. But once you take it out to battle and it dies, it magically blows up into dark elixir. Where did the dark elixir come from? It's all very mysterious if you ask me. Those gem rewards you get by removing obstacles from your village actually follow a specific pattern of numbers on a loop. Six, zero, four, five, one, three, two, zero, zero, five, one, zero, three, four, zero, zero, five, zero, one, and zero. But wait a minute, hold on. There are a tad bit too many zeros in there, don't you think? Hey, Supercell, remove the zeros. If you ever change your Clash of Clans game language to Chinese, you probably won't understand a thing on your screen unless you use a translator. That's when you'll find out that the P.E.K.K.A.'s name has been changed to, wait for it, Skin Card Superman. No, I'm not making this up. That's what the translator says. We all know that goblins are greedy and will do just about anything to get their hands on some shiny gold. But did you know that there are two goblins in the tutorial section of the game that are a little different? Instead of targeting the gold collector, these sneaky little rascals actually go straight for your cannon. Looks like some Somebody skipped goblin school. He must have noticed the empty patch of ground every time you move a building. Grass grows back in the patch, but here's the kicker. Every single time you move a building, the grass grows back in a completely different pattern. It's almost hypnotic to watch. I don't know about you, but I could sit here all day moving buildings just to see what kind of grass pattern I get next. In 2013, a player with the username Man with Cow actually suggested Supercell add clan capital to the game. Now, it definitely took them a solid nine years to implement it, but hey, at least it got through. We may never know exactly who Man with Cow is, but we're forever grateful for his suggestion. Did you know that the cool 2D loading screen that Supercell used for Clash of Clans in 2019 was actually a fan art by a guy called Enrique Fernandez? He uploaded it to his DeviantArt account and it caught the attention of the game developers. They loved it so much that they decided to use it as the official loading screen for the game. Everyone has had their fair share of moments, cursing the searching for opponent screen for taking too long to show the next base. Well, guess what? There's a way to skip it. All you have to do is hit the next button when the timer at the top hits 27 seconds. That's it. You can thank me later. If you're observant, you might have figured this one out. Out. But for our viewers still in the dark, did you know that the research button on the Star Laboratory features images of spells, even though the Builder Base doesn't have any? Maybe it's just a design choice, but I think that it could be a hint that spells might be added to the Builder Base in the future. If you didn't know, the fuse on bombs and giant bombs is always on, even when your base is safe and sound. But instead of exploding like they're supposed to, they just wait patiently for their next victim to step into their deadly radius. Did you know that you can actually get your gem counter on negative? It's true. All you have to do is buy a gem back, use some of the gems, and then apply for a refund. Did you know that the first battle in the single player campaign, Payback, has a cannon that's weaker than a level one cannon? That's right, it only does two damage per second and has a measly 250 hit points. What were the developers thinking? The name Pekka had no meaning, at least not until Supercell took it to Facebook and let the fans decide. After a nail biting poll with countless comments, the winner was chosen. And what did it stand for? Perfect enraged knight, killer of assassins. It's a bit of a mouthful, but hey, it gets the job done. Do you ever feel like you're just too lazy to keep up with your base? Well, fear or not, because Supercell has got your back. If you go MIA for more than six months, your buildings will automatically be upgraded using the resources obtained from the collectors, and you won't have to lift a finger. Talk about a sweet deal. The Goblin Picnic base on the single player map has a surprise waiting for you. If you use a jump spell to get any troops within the walls around the P.E.K.K.A. statue, you'll get the chance to meet Santa himself. And the best part? It leaves some explosive presents behind for your troops to enjoy. Yay! Did you know that the damage dealt by a giant cannon is actually less than a regular cannon? Despite the fact that the cannonball it shoots is bigger, not much of a 
a giant cannon, is it? Did you know that the description of the laboratory in the game reads harder, better, faster, stronger, which just so happens to be the name of a famous song by Daft Punk? How cool is that? It looks like Supercell is really in touch with their musical side. Here's a little known fact that might help you out. Hidden behind the more settings button, you're given the option to change the size of your troop deployment bar. A bigger bar means fewer mistouches, but a smaller one allows you to see more of your troops. Choices, choices, choices. Chiefs that don't show up at their base for a long period are in for a surprise when they get back in. You'll find out that your own village has turned against you, and you'll have to fight them to regain control, leaving your poor villagers at the mercy of countless attackers. What kind of chief are you? Have you noticed the scales on their back? They're not just there to make them look cool. These scales light up one by one, starting from the tail and moving towards the head. And here's the cool part. The time it takes for all five scales to light up is exactly the same as the time it takes for the Electro Dragons to charge their attack. The more you know, huh? Did you know that you can make your minions sneeze in Clash of Clans? All you have to do is tap on an army camp with minions inside, and they'll start sneezing uncontrollably. And the higher their level, the more they'll sneeze. Bless you, my flying friends. For those who haven't yet ventured through the single player campaign, get ready for a surprise. The final goblin base is home to a colossal golden dragon that serves as a formidable defense troop. With a whopping 1400 damage per second and a massive 32,000 HP, this dragon can quickly decimate your army. Scary. On a lighter note, Clash of Clans still has the first ever Christmas tree model that was launched in 2012. It's one of the rarest obstacles in the game. And while you can't get it for your base, you can see it in a goblin base of all places. Open the Gold Rush level, and zoom into the upper left corner to locate this nostalgia-inducing tree. Cannon Cart is, uh... Well, it's a machine made by the master builder. But then, why does it leave behind a gravestone when it's destroyed? Could someone secretly be controlling the cart from the inside? It's all very Pinocchio, if you ask me. Did you know that if you drop a free spell on the weather vane in an opponent's base, it'll stop spinning? It's a neat trick that shows the incredible attention to detail put into Clash of Clans. Give it a try and see the weather vane stop spinning right before your eyes. It may come as a surprise, but despite its impressive destructive power, the crusher in the builder base doesn't shoot anything. If you think the guard post is similar in this regard, think again, as they have archers who are more than happy to rain arrows down on any intruders. Looks like we've got a case of mistaken identity with the miner. While he and his shovel make quick work of anything unlucky enough to be in his path, his fashion sense seems to be all over the place. According to his troop description, he should be wearing a blue shirt, but in battle, he's got a red one on. What's up with that? Maybe he's just digging for a new outfit. Did you know that the attack strategies available in the practice menu are actually user-generated? Supercell takes a hands-off approach when it comes to creating new attack methods for the latest town hall levels, instead relying on the creative prowess of the community. So, next time you try out a strategy in the practice menu, remember that it might have been thought out by a fellow player. Oh, the dragon, a mythical creature of great power and ferocity. But wait, what's this? When it falls in battle, it sheds its fiery exterior and reveals a humanoid skeleton? What? Could it be that this fearsome beast has devoured a human and the remains now manifest upon its demise? Did you know that Supercell likes to hide bananas and other fruits in their purchasable scenery? It's like a game of Where's Waldo, but with fruit. Is there a connection with all the fruits? Who knows? But legends say that if you don't subscribe to Halo, a group of angry goblins will appear in your room every night and demand that you sing them lullabies until they fall asleep. Trust us, you don't want to deal with that. So hit that subscribe button now.